Hey guys, here we are on this beautiful fall day. You can see the leaves are changing colors, a lot of yellows and reds and oranges, and that means fall. Fall means awesome fishing. Up in the Midwest, as that water starts to cool, the weeds are starting to die off, the fish are starting to feed up and prepare for winter. And after growing up and living in this area, fishing a bunch, fishing with a ton of different people, I've broken down what I consider are five of the best nuts and bolts fall baits for largemouth. As soon as that water temp get, dips below 70 and starts falling, you know, when it's in the 60s, when it's in the 50s and the 40s, and even down into the high 30s, you know, fishing's real tough in the, when the water's in the 30s, but as that water progressively cools off, the, there's little peaks of, you know, little warm ups when the fish are really gonna start feeding. And I guess to kick it off, is an oldie but a goodie, and that is a spinner bait. Now you can fish spinner baits faster um, with willow leaf blades, but as that water's cooling, there's nothing like the thump of a Colorado type blade. It puts out a lot of vibration and you can slow roll it. And I'll often put a nice trailer on there, maybe a swim bait or something. Bulks it up, helps it lift a little bit, but you can really just creep that thing and throw it, throwing it around you know, eight feet and shallower, oftentimes a three eighths or a half ounce, but you can fish it right along, go right down the shoreline, throw it at docks and lay downs and weeds and cover a ton of water. It's a horizontal bait. So that's a great way to find areas where the fish are, to locate the fish. But spinner bait is a great horizontal bait and a complement to a spinner bait would be a bladed jig. This is the, the shuttering bait. It's a, this is more like the Colorado style blade. It moves a ton of water, a lot of vibration, works really well in real cold water or real dirty water. But both of these, I kind of like to mix them up. Some days they're on a spinner bait, some days they're on this. And a lot of times the bladed jig is a lift and fall, lift and fall, just killing it. And they, they pop it on the fall. And then the other horizontal presentation that I can't leave out in the fall time of the year, more so when the water's a little bit on the warmer side, but what well, we have a phenomenon in the Midwest when the frogs come back from the, they, they, move, they lay their eggs in the spring and then in the summer they move into the woods and the forests and things and then in the fall they come back. So there's a frog connection, but also there's just a lot of the good grass up shallow and a buzz bait is a great way to cover that. Buzz baits catch huge bass in the fall. There's just no questions asked. I think our current state record was caught on a buzz bait in October. Just a great way. Some days you're not going to get a lot of bites with a buzz bait, but you will get a few huge bites and ideally you have those days where you catch tons of fish and some big ones mixed in, but don't go fishing in the fall without a buzz bait, that's for sure. Now the last two things that are always on my deck in the fall are vertical presentations and I don't always you only use these when I know right where the fish are, but a lot of times fish will be in, in some of that thicker, denser grass, the coontail specifically, and to penetrate that, you need something that's gonna fall fast. And this is a three quarter ounce black and blue jig with a craw trailer. This is a, an awesome bait. It catches tons of huge fish in the fall, catches numbers, and it's just a great bait to just penetrate cover and fish a little bit slower but at the same point in time, it falls fast. It gets reaction bites. You flip it in, shake it a couple times, reel it in, just keep doing that over and over and over. A lot of times, once you find fish with the spinner bait or any of these horizontal presentations, catch a couple, get a couple bites, go back through there with a jig. Or last but not least is the Tokyo rig. And yeah, they're, they're both vertical presentations, but they're very different. And if you tune into Wired to Fish Much, you've probably heard me talk about a Tokyo rig. I'm just a truly a huge advocate. I, I'm just completely sold on it. I, I know it works. I believe in it. And that action, once you wear the fish out with a jig, I go right back through them with the Tokyo rig. And you will, if there's any sort of amount of fish there, you will get more bites on a Tokyo rig. And put your favorite soft plastic on there. And you know, one thing you'll, Determine based on the water temperature and how fast it's cooling, warm ups, cool downs, you know, you just kind of experiment. But the fall, it's just such a fun time to fish. And if you go out in the fall with these five baits, whether the water is 65 or 35, one of these baits is typically going to be the key to success. It's just finding those fish. And a lot of times, 
the fish are not everywhere. They're in smaller locations, but when you find them, boy, you can get into a big group of fish. And if I were to pick one common denominator that I look for in general, fall fishing in the Midwest for largemouth, is to try and focus on the best, thickest, greenest weeds you can find. As those weeds are dying off, the fish are just consolidating into the thickest. Boy, sometimes you'll find a big clump of coontail the size of your boat. That's, that's what you're looking for. If you find that and there's not much of it around, those, it's like a magnet for big bass. And that's one of those times when you're gonna catch some of the biggest fish of the year. So that's what I know, that's what I've learned over my time on the water. And I hope it helps you to catch a few more fish this fall, but definitely don't miss out on a day like this. Get out and catch some fish.